Hi internet, I'm Udoka. Welcome to my channel where I usually am talking about my life and my mental health, but I also love YouTube and I'm a consumer of YouTube and I get into the YouTube drama stuff. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, usually unedited, welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe and like the video when you actually like it. I'm going to be breaking down Trisha's breakdown today. Um, first of all, I am on a webcam. It's like not the best quality, um, not the best audio, not the best lighting at all, but I'm using OBS, which is allowing me to show my screen and talk to you at the same time. And I can pause to find my evidence and press record again. So I'm not into editing. This is not going to be edited, but I think this could be maybe the best of both worlds. Um, so yeah, today Trisha kind of went crazy. And um, let me first bring you up to speed. Um, there's two things, two scandals going on right now, and both of which are, you know, kind of serious, but one upsets me more than the other. The first one is the issue with Trisha's fiance, Moses. He is accused of stealthing which means um, you're having consensual relations with someone. Um, consent was based on the premise that protection would be used. And then in the middle of the relations, you remove that protection. That is really, that is disgusting. Um, it is a form of SA. Some people even view it as a form of R. I know when I was younger and into hookup culture, that was like a huge fear of mine um, that I would get with some dumb guy who removes the the protection so that's really it's disgusting um trisha and moses are claiming it's not true trisha is not believing the victim in this case who by the way is years younger than moses um and moses and her hooked up when she was 23 even though Trisha claims to believe that if you're above a certain age, you shouldn't be hooking up with somebody under the age of 25. <sighs> that's just one, that's just one, that's just one scandal. And most of these drama channels are just talking about, oh, Moses cheated on Trisha type of thing. It's like they're trying to ignore like the actual serious aspect of this tea. The other thing that means a lot more to me is uh, Trisha's false accusations on um, on one of her teachers that she said his name several times. And this is being conflated with um, a, that we don't believe that Trisha was essayed. That's not what we're saying. Everybody has their own opinion. Um, she did lie about the essay because when she tells the story of what happened, it changes every single time. And it changes in like very important ways. It's not just a change of, oh, I was wearing a blue shirt. And the next day she says, I was wearing a green shirt. Um, it changes from, it happened with one teacher. It, it happened with two teachers. I went to the principal. I didn't go to the principal. I reported it. I didn't report it. Like major details are always changing when she tells the story. So that means one of these one of these tellings of the story is a lie. At least one of these tellings is a lie. So she is lying about her essay, the circumstances around it. But more importantly, she lied about things that we can prove to be false. She said this person has been jailed, has been arrested, had child pee on their computer at school, and had other people coming out with allegations. And we cannot find evidence of this. Um, who knows? Maybe somewhere in some secret vault somewhere, the evidence is there, but we cannot find it. And typically these things are on public record. We can't find it. This person um, has since passed, so they cannot defend themselves. And all we ask, <laughs> all we ask is that Trisha apologize for that false claim, you know, the saying that this person was jailed and all of that just apologize for that and stop lying you know just stop lying um but trisha cannot take that for an answer there is no world in which trisha's first first response will be to take accountability or take responsibility she must first be a drama queen so we're gonna break down her breakdown here and she did private her Twitter. 
So I'm going to have to find the stuff. So just bear with me. But I was watching since the beginning. So let me see if I can find where this all first started. By the way, this TikTok page here, Contradictions of Trish, Contradictions of They, um, has some more evidence of lies for you. So you can check that out. Okay, I think I found a long screenshot of her tweets. First of all, check out this page, this Instagram page, uh, spilling t underscore eight seven five, and this page, frenemies room. They have screenshots of stuff. They have video clips of stuff. Um, for those of you who need to see things with your own eyes, but when I went on Twitter earlier today. Yeah, she had this stuff. She's posting Joel Osteen. Girl, I don't know why you're posting Joel Osteen, but okay. I mean, Joel Osteen does make people feel good, doesn't he? Um, just pretending. She's pretending to ignore the stuff. She's just trying to act like nothing is wrong. Now, let me tell you, I, I'm the personality that I hate that, okay? I know there's people, there's the personalities out there that that is the appropriate response. I I freaking hate that. That's just me personally. When something is going down and you're trying to pretend like nothing is going down, I'm just like, could you be any faker? Like, oh my God, I don't know. I just personally, that irks me. But she couldn't hold it anymore. She couldn't hold it anymore. And she started tweeting. Um, people really press to see us happy. Moses is not, Moses, I don't care about this part. Uh, there's a lot of people are now hating on Moses. People are now saying they're toxic. I mean, they've been toxic. Like once we saw the image of Moses is bruised because Trisha hit him. We know, we know it's toxic. I kind of don't care. They're grown adults choosing to be in that relationship not my business, really. Um, so she's talking about the whole Moses cheating on me, Moses, the relationship thing that people are talking about. Don't care. I'm going to skip that part. Oh, hold on. Okay. I've addressed all this stuff endlessly on frenemies and on my old podcasts in videos, people bringing up the same tired ish. I think she's referring to multiple things here and people are bringing up the same tired ish because you actually don't address it. You actually don't. Uh, let me try to find the next screen record screenshot of this. Okay. So at this point I can't tell the order of the screenshots anymore, but we're going to, we're going to go through them. Okay. So, um, I think this, I think this one came first. Nope. Gosh, there's so many of them. I think this one came first because um, she posts a picture, a video of a fan meeting her. <sighs> Let's see. Um, Keem is messing around with her. I need your approval for my next girlfriend. Um, because Trisha was just really ragging on him that his girlfriend is uh, 21 or however old she is. Um, even though Moses's girlfriends are the same age as Keemstar's girlfriends and Moses is, you know, almost the same age as Keemstar, but whatever, we're going to go past that. Okay. Um, somebody was trying to make fun of like fat shame her. I'm not interested in that. I, I don't like people who, who, who throw like ad hominems and like, just are just really crappy towards somebody that they don't like in a way that you like, I just, I'm just not, I'm not for that. Like, I'm not for fat shaming somebody that you don't like. Like, that's like being like, the only black person that I like is a black person that knows their place. You know what I mean? It's like, I wouldn't have called them the N word if they just behaved. You know what I mean? It's like, actually, actually you're, at, you're a messed up. So I don't think that's funny. Okay. I don't think that's funny that someone's calling her whatever. Okay. So I think I saw this one. So then Keem says, 
Why are people saying you lied about essay? I addressed it on my live. She actually didn't. What she said on her life is that she won't address it. So saying that you won't address something means that you did not address it. It makes me absolutely sick to talk about. It doesn't make you absolutely sick because we only know that you lied because you, unprovoked, told us the stories. Like nobody asked you, nobody asked you to tell these stories. It doesn't make you sick to talk about because you talk about it all the time. I do not entertain hate mobs that know nothing about the situations involved. We don't know anything about the situations. All we know is what you said. And what you said doesn't make sense. Now, I'm, I'm not for hate mobs. Whenever you do something bad on the internet and people know about it, you're going to get hate. This kind of comes with it, unfortunately. Um, but she does entertain hate mobs, actually. She does entertain them. So that whole tweet is delusions. All right. Let's see what else. Oh, then Keem is talking about, you know, another Moses issue. Moses is so, I'm sorry. I'm so unimpressed with Moses, like entirely. <laughs> but that's besides, uh, I, I'm not talking about that right now. People harassing me about events in my life. Hmm. Makes me sick to my stomach. I will not entertain it on the most vulnerable parts of my life. But you did entertain it. We only know about it because you told us. Like, I don't know if she understands that when you say something to the camera and post it on YouTube and TikTok, you are... Showing it to the entire world. Talk about my relationship. Whatever. Talking about something I wasn't comfortable with talking about for so long, I physically can't take. But you have been talking about it for so long. You have been very comfortable talking about it. Because it's not like you mention it one or two times. It's like you talk about it every other week. The thing is, I was called a liar back then. Well, I apologize for that. Why? Well, actually, I don't apologize. I don't know who called you a liar back then. I don't know. Oh, she might be referring to when it actually happened. Um, she, adults not believing her or something. The same ishy things happen to me over and over again. Now, we question that because... You made several videos talking about how nothing ever happened between you and your teachers, talking about you've never, you like before the age of 18, you never did anything with any guy. Now, you could have been lying in those videos. The lie could be that nothing ever happened. Um, but you have a lot of different stories, and we're trying to parse which one to believe because we can't just believe the latest thing that you say, because the next week you'll say something completely different. And there's nothing that you say over the span of years regarding this issue has been consistent. And it's why I never said anything ever. That's a lie. <laughs> Excuse me? <coughs> it's why I never said anything ever oh my god that's a plain lie <laughs> Ethan removed a friend of me's podcast because he said something in episode 17 oh my god okay and I never will again well listen I applaud her for for saying that she will never discuss this again because we don't want we actually don't want to hear it. Actually. Like it doesn't it doesn't help anyone. Like you're not inspiring other victims because you're lying every time you're telling the story. Like we that would be a wonderful thing if you never spoke on it again. So then you never have to worry about being accused of lying when your stories don't match up. 
or you never have to worry about um, talking too fast and losing your train of thought and oops, a name slips out. And, and then we d look into that name and find out that you may have lied. So that would actually be a good thing for you. Think about what you could possibly be defending if you don't believe me. Again, the issue, it, we can't prove or disprove if this person essayed you. What we can prove is that you lied about this person several, a couple of times. I don't know how many times she said it. She said it at least twice. You lied on this person's good name. You said their name. It would be different if you did not say their name. You said their name. You told us, I can't find the TikTok video now, but she said in her TikTok video to Google this guy. And we Googled him and you lied. That's what we're, that's what we don't believe you about. But who are, but for, also who is she to talk about, think about what you could possibly be defending when you're defending your fiance, who's being accused of stealthing. You didn't think about what you could be defending then. She wants the double standards are too large. There are double standards, standards in life. And we can accept double standards in life when the logic makes sense, right? Like if a little kid hits you, don't freaking hit the kid back because you're a full grown person. You can really do some damage. Whereas the little kid probably didn't do much damage, right? That's a double standard, but the logic makes sense. But Trisha wants double standards for herself that don't make sense. It doesn't make sense to anybody but her or people who are deranged for her. Not even Moses, not even Moses. If you read some of Moses' tweets, not even Moses can defend you a lot of times. Okay. Much worse happened with worse people. I'm sure, I'm sure we believe that. And I should say those names. That's up to you. But why would anyone believe me then or now, right? I'm a liar. So I guess a bus doesn't happen to me. That's not what we're saying. See, what, you ever argue with somebody in real life and you're trying to make a certain point and they just are like, oh, so, so what y'all saying is that I, that I am the one to blame for your own misgiving. Like, bruh, okay, if you have an African parent, you've been there where you're trying to make a logical point and they just twist it into a different reality. Nobody is saying that a bus doesn't happen to you, Trisha. We're saying that in this, there are instances where we have found inconsistencies and an instance that we found that you have blatantly lied. We're not talking about anything else. All right. Let's look more. And the internet doesn't care about anyone involved. Actually, we do. They don't care about families that could be innocent. We do. That's why we're reporting on this. We care about the Riney family. They don't care about anyone's well-being. We do. Not yours, because what is required for your well-being is not reasonable. They just care about harassing me and now Moses. I'm sure there's people who like don't have a life, so all they're doing is harassing y'all. But, and a lot of that stuff has to be in private because when I look at what's posted publicly, it's not harassment, it's people asking you what is the truth. Like, I don't see harassment. I believe that maybe people are sending horrible stuff in the DMs, but in public, I'm not seeing harassment. I'm seeing and ask for accountability. Let's look at the next thing. There's a breeding place that starts all this. It's so toxic. It's so damaging. The breeding place is you. The breeding place is your videos. It's made so much private information of private people involved with my life and most of life public. Yeah. I don't condone that. 
this place deleted a lot. She's talking about the she's talking about the H three. I think the H three subreddit is what she's talking about. I wish it would all stop. You can make it stop. You can't make it stop completely. I mean, you lied on a a gone man. So it's not going to stop completely, but a lot of it will stop if you take accountability. I've been on the receiving end of fan hate mobs before, but this is already gone too far. We'll get rolled onto your hats, baby, because this is just the beginning. The the T channels haven't even reported on it. It's just the beginning then. And nothing's being done to stop it. Only to incite more hate. No, we are trying to incite accountability. Why is my thing always crooked? Anytime a job is made at me, a joke is made about me, the hate piles up again. Yeah. There's been two instances of this in the past week, and the hate mob comes out in full force again. I don't know exactly what hate she's talking about. I, I'm i not surprised. Like, I can believe that. I can believe that. But even if nobody made jokes about her, we're still going to be asking for accountability. If it's not this, it's something else. Yeah, because you're doing a lot of stupid stuff. But this is very serious. It is very serious. And my pain is not up for discussion anymore. We're, we don't question if you're in pain. We know you're in pain. We don't care. We don't, we don't care. If you're caught in a lie, being caught in a lie is painful. It's embarrassing. But also, we don't care. <laughs> you need to answer for your actions. You don't get to demand things from me. It's funny because she demands things of other people. This sounds like, does this sound familiar to anyone else? It's sounding very Gabby Hanna. She demands things of other people. She demands Keemstar break up with his girlfriend. Now listen, you're, what you think about Keemstar and his girlfriend is up to you. I think Keemstar is very disrespectful to her. And the way they met is very shady and gross. Um, but I'm not, I can't demand that he break up with her. <laughs> like I can't demand it the way that Trisha demands it. Trisha demanded Charlie D'Amelio apologize for, um, thinking as, as Kogar, what's that, what's that, f eating something that she found gross. Okay. Eating something that most people find gross. Trisha demanded an apology for that. Trisha demanded James Charles stop being friends. With that, like Trisha demands a lot of dumb things of people. People are demanding an apology, an explanation, evidence of Trisha, and that's too much for her. If you hate me and want to see the worst for me, see over exaggeration. Asking for accountability is not hating you or wanting to see the worst. No, please ignore me. We can't ignore you. You are making false accusations and trying to get away with it. At the same time, virtue signaling uh, about other people's bad behavior. We can't, we can't ignore that. You are begging for attention. You are begging to be seen as a moral superior while you're being morally insuperior. We're not going to ignore it. And it's very hard to. Every time I am mentioned on the podcast, oh, she thinks it's just about the podcast. She's, a, she's trying to find something to blame. She doesn't understand that she's the one to blame. She's trying to find the one thing to blame. Oh, it must be that pocket. Bro. I grew up with somebody like this. I grew up with somebody like this that just like, I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you did that. It must be that ABC thing. And I'm like, no, it's actually ABC thing has nothing to do with it. I am a human being with my own brain and your actions is what caused me to say what I just said. Like, it's like they have to, it's like they can't. Mm -mm. Now look at this one. <clears throat> look at this one. Let me make this big because this one is so dumb. I'm not sure what people want me to do. Lie about my past. 
breakup with Moses on the life my That's when that's when I was like, oh Lord. I put down I I think I was eating or something. I put down everything because I'm like, here we go. The dramatics. You see what I'm talking about? We're asking for you to hold yourself accountable. You have claimed that these essay accusations on your uh, on Moses are false, that you're not believing the victim. Provide some evidence. Provide why you think it's okay to not believe the victim this time. But when you are changing up your story all the time, we need to believe you every single time. Can you explain? Just explain. Explain. We are the confusion. We are confusing. We are asking you to explain. But she must, his, she must get into the histrionics. No. They want me to unalive myself. Because the concept of <coughs> holding yourself accountable is so flooring to her. It's like an option that does not even exist. It's like not even in her reality. At least right now. She's probably spiraled into a psychosis right now. I don't know if she's going to be better when she comes out of it. Okay. That one, it riled up people. Like, look, look, look at, look at the, look at the boost in the comments. That one riled people up. It's like, ma'am, no. <coughs> wah, wah, wah. I, somebody says, wah, wah, wah. I'm Trisha Paytas and I can drag anyone I want at any time, but can't take any valid criticism. Wah, wah, wah. She says, I've literally stopped. Actually, you didn't. When you started saying the essay victim of Moses is lying, you didn't stop. All I've <clears throat> and I'll never do that ish again. Actually, I'm sure you will. <laughs> 100%. Actually, you kind of are doing it now. You're actually doing it now in a second. When I get to the text messages, you're doing it again. Perhaps it is a bad juju coming back around. Hey, karma's a B, right? It's why ultimately frenemies ending was the best thing for me. I was talking ish just to be talking ish. And that isn't who I wanted to be. It's who you are, though. The, it, there's a lot of things that you, you don't know who you are. I don't know. We don't care what you wanted to be. You, you don't know who you are now. You won't know tomorrow. I've only ever shared stories when other people come out with theirs first. That's a lie. I have so many awful, unmentionable things that have happened to me in my life. We know. We didn't ask about that. Like, that's not helping. Does she think that saying that will just make us feel, oh, no, oh, baby. <laughs> like, does she think that's going to make us more uh, sympathetic to her or something? We know more horrible things have happened to you. We're not asking you to tell the story. We don't need to know the story. It's not relevant to what's going on right now. But I'll wait to others share their stories until I chime in. That's a lie. People only believe me when others have the same story. That's a lie. Or is she trying to say, you know, I'll wait for other people who have been essayed by the people I said essayed me. I'll wait for them to tell their story. Is that what she's saying? Okay. <clears throat> she's, 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 she's trying to avoid the main issues. I don't know what's going on, to be honest, but it's weird that we're all about believing the victim no matter what until it's Trish. Actually, no, Trish wants you to believe her, but she doesn't want you to believe the people coming out against Moses. So it's not until it's Trish. It's until it's someone Trish doesn't like. She says, I'll never be believed, so I give up. Just give up the lies. Whatever. Give up telling your story entirely. Doesn't matter to us. We just want you to stop lying. 
I hid it for so long. You didn't. You've been talking about it for a long time because I knew this. And I also was ashamed of not being ashamed. None of this stuff cost me trauma, but it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Huh? So is she saying that the essay didn't cause her trauma? I don't, I don't, I don't know what she's talking about. Let's move on. <clears throat> this person says, I stand, we stand the growth. I did stand the growth. Okay. I was standing the growth, um, until I saw there's no growth and things are just getting worse. I'm literally trying, shut up. And they're not, <clears throat> I don't even want to read. I'm not going to read that. Honestly, it wasn't for me. Uh, I don't know what she's... Oh, this Peruvian hottie person is weird. She's responding to Peruvian hottie. I think Peruvian hottie remo like deleted their Twitter or something. This person is really weird. This is a this is a Trisha stan. Like this is probably somebody who's like Trisha pictures all over their wall, <laughs> all over the wall or something like that. Um, oh, but get this. Um, I made fun of people's looks, the Damelluo <laughs> situation, misspeaking on Mike and Faze. She, whenever she admit, whenever she's trying to admit that she lied on somebody, she calls it misspeaking. Ma'am, misspeaking is when you stumble on your words, you stutter, you use the wrong word when you meant a different word. It's not misspeaking when you repeat the same misspokenness over and over again. Like after after a certain number of times of misspeaking, it's no longer misspeaking. It's now just lying. <clears throat> People are going to hate me forever on the Internet. I understand that. But nothing I do will ever be enough because you don't even do the bare minimum. You don't even do the bare minimum is to not lie. The bare minimum is to apologize when you're wrong. That's why nothing you that's why nothing you do will ever be good enough. I can't address every lie. <laughs> I need to I need to get hold on, I'm sorry. I need to get I need to get a drink. She said I can't. <clears throat> Okay, I got my polar mixed with a little bit of Fanta. I just lost my crapper when she said, <clears throat> I can't address every lie. That's bad. If you lie so much that you can't even keep up, like that, like, yo, like, <laughs> bruh, that's a red flag. So first of all, she's admitting that she lies. Okay. I'm glad that today in 2021, she admits that she lies, but baby, you just admitted that you lie a lot. You can't admit like a normal person. I don't know. A normal person isn't lying. May, like maybe a lie or two because uh, I'm afraid of my reputation or something. I don't know. Or maybe you over exaggerated something, maybe. But if you lie, like that's bad. I can't address every lie. That's a really bad sign. Well, thank you for at least admitting that you lie. I can't explain every situation. So this is again, this is a, another histrionics, uh, over, over dramatizing something. We're not asking for you to explain every lie. We're not asking to explain every situation. There's literally two it's just two scandals that people are asking you about. It's just two of them. Like we're not even we're not even asking you to explain every lie of SA that you told. We just asking about this one dude that you said the name. 
especially to people who ultimately don't care, then why, then why are you telling your issues to people who don't care? Why, why did you tell us to begin with? Why did you tell us the lies and the situations to begin with if we don't care, if you thought we don't care? Girl, can you use some common sense? If I come across defensive, it's because I am. <clears throat> I know I'm not a real person to anyone. Well, you kind of don't treat people online like a real person. You told Gabby Hanna that you viewed her like she was a character, like she's not a real human being. Now listen, Gabby Hanna, Gabby Hanna is just about as bad as Trisha Paytas. Um, but she's still a human being. Like the rest of us are able to recognize this is a human being. <clears throat> That's why we're so appalled and amazed. She said, for those of you who like ASMR, I hope that give you tingles. I love ASMR. I love the sound of people drinking and eating. I'm so weird. Okay. I overshare my life, but I'm done owing the internet anything. Watch if you want, hate if you want, but I'm not ignoring things. I'm setting boundaries. You, you're you literally trying to, you've been trying to ignore the BS. That's not a boundary. That is just admitting that you won't own up to your actions. This is crazy hate for me and towards Moses. Sticking up the past. I don't know. Is she calling like trying to figure out if you're lying is she calling that bringing up the past is she calling the tiktok she made like a month ago about mr so-and-so is that the past like something that you said a month ago is the past digging up the past um moses is posting on his own accord his text messages with his ex is that us digging up the past you're crazy girl <clears throat> Trying to find private people started when frenemies ended. <sighs> I don't think it's related to frenemies ending. If it was related to frenemies ending, then all the stuff would have come out then. This is how, this is a little bit later. I think she's just trying to, she's, she just really wants to not take accountability. She wants to find a scapegoat. I monitored her subreddit. So you're not monitoring the other subreddits of people not related to frenemies who are discussing this. You just pick the scapegoat and go and going for it. Very ultimate answer of you. <clears throat> Where's the next? I'm so sorry, H3 fans felt betrayed. I'm not reading that. I'm not reading fake apologies. <coughs> and when I say I'm sorry, I mean it. No, you don't. Get, get get the hell out. My family's being harassed. Cops are showing up to our house. I don't believe that. I might believe that a wellness check was sent on her mom. I might believe that. I don't believe cops are showing up to your house. I think you're over-dramatizing things. That's just my opinion, though. It's why I've been avoiding everything, uh-huh, whatever, and it's terrifying. I'm sure it's terrifying. It's terrifying to somebody with BPD who's been lying. It's so terrifying for them when they're outed, and Trisha's outed. Y'all, this is what it looks like when someone is a compulsive liar, whether they have histrionic personality disorder, narcissistic personality disorder, or borderline personality disorder. When their lies have cornered them, they they lose it. They lose it. It's terrifying. This is this is a worst case scenario for somebody like Trisha. I will never just anything personal again. I honestly hope so, because it's it's not it's not our business. We didn't ask for it. And if you're going to give it to us unprovoked, we'd appreciate it if you didn't lie. So if you're just not going to talk about it at all anymore, that would be great. I will block anyone who presents anything from my past. 
what needs to be dealt with offline well. Mm -mm. She tends to deal with things online. Like when she's having family fights, she posts that stuff online. She doesn't deal with stuff offline. The only thing she comprehends is if it was online. Like Gabby Hanna. Gabby Hanna can't imagine a world where people are handling things amongst themselves in private. If it didn't happen online, if it's not posted online, she doesn't believe it. Let's see the next thing. How long is this video? That's the only thing about... Oh, yo, 40 minutes. Well, it's going to be longer, y'all. So I guess I hope I hope you enjoy long form content because that's what this is today. Um, let's see what it says. Oh, this is stuff that was posted earlier. Um, it, start, it all starts from their Reddit. She took a screenshot of somebody talking about Trish on the H3 Reddit. She's blaming that Reddit. And it's not just that Reddit. It, I don't care if the Reddit gets deleted today, tonight. We're still going to be discussing this. I I didn't start questioning Trisha to this degree from the Reddit. I didn't even think about the Reddit until after I wanted to find more info on what Mysterious T's channel was saying. <coughs> Okay, so people are going after her sponsors. Um, I know some people are like, don't go after sponsors. That's low. Um, I don't care. I believe um, I believe if the people, I don't know, it's a free marketplace. You know what I'm saying? So go after the sponsors if you want to. I, I don't care. If you, if it, if somebody offends your sensibilities, then it makes sense to go after their sponsors. I'm not doing it because I don't care enough to. Um, but I understand why people would. Ethan says it's not his fans, it's mine. Yeah. I was a Trisha fan. And a lot of her fans are like, babe, babe, go ahead. Go ahead and log out from the baby. <laughs> and she needs a scapegoat. Okay. Okay, this is when she starts crying. So let's look at yo when she was crying. Yo, 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 yo. Uh she is given Laura Lee tees. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's given it's given um Karen tees. It's given <laughs> Is given make the sound, but don't actually tear the tears. Tease. I saw a tear though. I did see a tear. Um, this could be. <clears throat> we finna. We finna watch it. I'm gonna click through it though. It is annoying. It is annoying to hear. This could just be, you know, emotional. Just her actual reaction. To, even though to us it's like not logical, this is how she feels. Um, it could be a manipulation. It could be that she's trained herself to do this so she doesn't even realize that she's manipulating. Very much like the Karen, the lady who called the police on the, the black man that was literally just sitting there, you know, like... Maybe she was being calculated or maybe she had just trained herself so much to manipulate in this manner that she doesn't even realize what she's doing. I don't know, but I will admit I was la I was laughing. I it made me it I'm sorry. And people are like I can't believe people can see someone crying like this and still and still think how they think. Well, we've seen her cry. I mean, we're Trisha fans. We see her cry like this over chicken nuggets. Um, it's not new to <laughs> it's nothing new to us. She cries like this all the time, like we're used to it. Um 
But also, I'll be damned if you're going to get me to feel sorry for a multimillionaire who is crying because the consequences of her actions have come up. No, I'm sorry. No, I, I, <laughs> baby, no, you're not, you are not going to make, <laughs> there's nothing you can say to make me feel bad for a multimillionaire crying in her man. She is, do y'all understand y'all people who are caping for her? Do y'all understand she is crying in a mansion? She is crying on a sofa that's the that is double the size of your bed, maybe triple. Like do y'all <laughs> listen? And I understand. Listen, because I'm I'm one of those people who was actually sympathetic to Kim Kardashian when she was getting hate, and people were like, "Well, she's rich, she's famous," and it's like, "Well, rich and famous people have feelings too," so I get that. But what makes me laugh is that it's literally drama that she created herself like literally like <laughs> and it's like you want me to feel bad for her she created this drama she's profiting off the drama she's a freaking multi-millionaire off of this stuff and she's crying in a mansion meanwhile i'm just trying to pay off my debt i'm a can i cry about that hey can i get um, how many people looked at this? Can I get 184 people to, <laughs> to watch me cry about my debt, please? I know I got myself into debt. I caused my debt. But it makes me really sad. Can people, <laughs> can I get money for people? <laughs> okay, let's see. <coughs> let's see the tears. Let, let's hear it. We're going to get into the text messages in a second. She texted Ethan and Gila. <clears throat> it's like she thinks Ethan and Gila or are the gods of, of the, the social media. Like she thinks they can just snap their finger and all of a sudden we all just going to forget about what we coming for her for. It's like the, it's like the mindset of a child. That's like, that's some kind of thing that a five-year-old would be saying. Talking They're not talking about you. Oh, she's upset about the Reddit post. They're not the one posting the Reddit post. <laughs> okay, cops are coming on her mom, supposedly. Listen, at this point, we can't fully... We got everything she says. You got to take with a grain of salt. You got to take with a grain of salt. Probably somebody just called a uh, wellness check on her. Now, what's up with Trisha's mom? Excuse me. It's that people people are attacking the mom because people are like, look what you did to your daughter. You did a horrible job raising the daughter. You created a monster. You, all this stuff. And there are clips on Trisha's mom. I think her name is Lena. Lena Paytas of her talking about how her ex would go in her daughter's rooms, fall on her daughter's bed, stuff like that. So she's getting hate because um, we see this is the product of that. Um, and uh, you know when like, you know something's wrong, but you also ain't mad at it. That's kind of how I feel right now about that. But that's not why Trisha's crying. I don't, I don't, I think Trisha's just giving that detail to try to evoke more <laughs> out of us. I don't think she actually cares about that. That's just my opinion. <laughs> I just, I, 
we stop and stop I apologize I asked what they want and they help me it's fucking too little too late but I'm like it's not it's gonna be too late when I just push 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 don't worry y'all we finna get into the text message because that's what she's referring to <clears throat> she says she apologized she apologized she's there's a tweet where she says i am sorry and it's like it's it's it what is up with these people because gabby hannah was the same way too it's like you think that just because you said you uttered the word sorry that means we're just gonna forget about everything you don't even know what you did that's wrong you can't even vocalize what you did that was wrong. So what are you sorry for? The only thing, literally the only thing you're sorry for is that we're not letting you off the hook. And again, she thinks Ethan and Hila are the gods of all of our brains and they have mind control chips in our brains. She thinks when Hila said too little too late, it meant that Hila's going to saw summon Zeus to rain down the thunderbolts of hate mob like girl when she, mm. <laughs> but there are just so much wrong going on right now they're talking the about them I was about any of this they never once asked me to stop and now I'm just pleading and their response is you don't get to tell us what to do <laughs> Trigger warning, y'all. I don't have any sympathy, okay? So p just go ahead. Go ahead, leave your comments if you're mad. They never said they didn't believe you. Ethan said he doesn't believe you would lie about this, about something like this. They never said they don't believe you about your essay. But you don't believe Moses' victims. How does that work? Explain. But she won't explain. Yo, when you corner somebody like this, when you corner them and you ask them to utilize logic, they are not capable. Like, she's literally not, ca she's not capable. Look at her face. She's not capable. She, her brain is not functioning properly. Hold up. Ugh. How did I do this? Her brain is not functioning properly right now. Like, she's literally not capable. Like, she's... At this time of recording, she is mentally handicapped. She is unable to logically process. And it's like a statement. <laughs> Just letting everything go. I can see it. Let everything so go, ma'am? Wow, 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 wow. She said, Just let everything go? Just let everything go. You don't let things go. You walked off the set of Frenemies and you proceeded to tweet 78 freaking twit, twits, <laughs> twit twats about whatever the BS. And you you want to talk about letting things go? This is a serious accusation. This is a serious motherfucking accusation and lie that you said. These are serious accusations that you that you dealing in the middle of. And you just want you want us to let it go or or you want Ethan and Hila to let go of all the things that you said all the anti-semitic things that you said all of the rude things that you said all of the times that you have uh called called them names called them very gross derogatory terms for no reason um the time that you exposed yourself to their baby are we gonna talk about the time that you like you were naked in their in their in their fountain or you peed in their fountain or something? 
You want them to just let go of all of your BS. You want them to let it go. You want them to let it go. It's like, Trisha, you know how many things in your freaking public life that you have not let go that was not worth holding on to? That was messing up somebody else's bag, somebody else's coin, somebody else's peace of mind. But now that your bag is being messed with. Listen, she's only doing this because they're attacking her sponsors, y'all. That is why she is now one of them sponsors. Email her and said, Trish, we have to cancel the contract. I, I guarantee y'all. One of them sponsors said we got to cancel the contract. And now she's crying. Just like David Dobrik. It's only when the bag is, so when Trisha's bag and peace of mind is at stake, that's when it's time to let things go. <laughs> he said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm so fucking You're not done, done because you posted it. The I fact that you posted done. this means you're not done. <laughs> You do say me. stuff. You are ruining people's lives. Moses' work is getting things. Like he's ruining people's crazy. lives? You mean... It's a fucking crazy with someone who's like, who is it? It was shown that she's obsessed with me and I'm just like, I can't. She, they were friends. They're, you text your friends. You text so your crush. No one deserves this. She wants to talk about so obsessed. Just, she wants to talk about obsessed when she <laughs> rammed her car into Moses' house naked in the middle of the night. She wants to talk about somebody being obsessed with Moses. The girl just sent te text messages with your ex that you, you kind of like, but you're trying to be friends with. That's something that happens all the time. Is that the reason why you don't believe her when she said she was a saint? she keeps saying things are getting brought up again when she brings it up every week like you care about the exes <laughs> getting dogs. <laughs> I, I don't give a damn about the exes <laughs> stages of grief trying to negotiate <coughs> you see how See how she's talking like she's about to, like someone's about to take her life? Like she really sounds like somebody have a, you know, something to her head. That's how she's talking. Pleating. Like she was diagnosed with cancer and she's trying to make a deal with God. That's what she sounds like right now. Girl. I about this because they don't care about the truth. They don't want to believe anything that we say. They don't. Actually. That's what we're asking you for. That's the only thing we care about. They literally don't care. They just want. It's, just, it's just crazy. They said it's too little to leave. I said it's not. I'm calling the truth. I'm asking for it to stop. You see, she thinks this is a game. She thinks this is a game. <coughs> she thinks this is a game. She, she said, I'm calling a truce. Bit. Let me not say the curse words. This is not no game. This is a dude who is gone. That you lie on his name. This is women accusing your fiance of stealthing. This ain't no game. What truce? What do you mean truth? There is no truth that can be drawn. Go to court. She's upset that they're trying to take him to court. Go to court. That's where you can, that's where you can start playing truth. 
That's when you can start talking deals. Excuse me, in court, do a settlement. Pay them their money. You better pay. You better believe. Listen, 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 y'all. Girls, girls, don't, don't play. If you hooked up with some dude, you hooked up with some dude, and he stealthed you, at the time, you're going to say you were no good nasty dog. You were no good nasty dog. <laughs> when you peep, they got money. Listen, I don't blame the girl. <laughs> I don't blame the girl. When I peep, the low down nasty dog got money. Baby, cut me my check. Cut me my check. You was trying to baby trap me. No, you're not going to finna Nick Cannon me. Like you did to two other girls. You ain't finna Nick Cannon me. You ain't finna future dog me. No, baby. You run me my check. You gonna run me my check because that is SA. I need compensation. You kidding me? I don't blame the girls. <laughs> Go to court. Settle. Stupid B. Okay. Everyone is reminding you of his name. The only reason we know his name is because you said it more than once. You said his name. You told us to Google his name. I can't. I can't. I can't, yo. Like the people who are standing for her, the people who are still on her side. I don't understand the type of mental gymnastics that you do. Like, how do you hear that and not just immediately get enraged? Like, you are saying we reminded you of his name? Trick. We want to know his name if you didn't say it. You told us to Google. You told us to Google this MFR. You literally said in your TikTok video to Google his mother effing name, Trick. And now, people coming out, people who went to high school with you coming out with the yearbooks. Talking about, oh, he wasn't a teacher the year that you said he was teaching. Or whatever. Who Whatever the hell. Whatever the hell. Girl. You bring up the BS every friggin' week. You talking about it, but today, today you want to cry and say that we're reminding you. <clears throat> Insane, bro. No, it's believe all victims except when it's time for you to believe the victim. You don't. That's what it is. That's 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 the mind that you made up. Oh my god! I'm so inside myself. How no one can have compassion. No one. And it's it just for a random human being, another random human being, for someone that they're in the family and they know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's uh skip. Okay. Oh, this person um. <laughs> They they put the tweets. Okay. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Computer's running slow. Okay. Let's look at the text messages. Ethan threatened to show all my text messages. I will show them myself. Here we go. Betsy, don't do this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yo, Trisha needs to listen to, she needs to start listening to her fans. If you're going to put your whole messy ass life online and you have fans who love you, like the way Trisha's fans love her, you need to start listening to them. 
Like for real, like literally 75% of the BS she goes through, she wouldn't be going through if she listened to her fans. That part of that might just be the mental illness that she does. She can't listen to reason. And part of it might be that she's like, well, I like the coin too much. This doing this stupid thing gonna give me the coin. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like a mixture to me. I think it's just a mix. I think it's a mix of I need the coin and mental illness. I think it's a mixture. Look, but let's look at this. <laughs> let's look at this. Let's look at this. Look, 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 look. <clears throat> okay. I am begging. I am pleasuring. For the last time. <laughs> that's just a typo. I'm sure she meant pleading. For the last time to never mention me in passing again. No. You're trying to tell him that he can't mention your name in passing ever again. You are his sister-in-law. You had a show together. Like y'all are in each other's lives. You're saying that you should not, you should just be she, she the, the they that shall not be named. What is this? Why that doesn't that's not reasonable. That's not reasonable. You do stuff on the public. You do stuff in the public eye all the time. You did stuff to to them in the public eye. And you're saying they can't talk about it anymore? Screw you. It's not like it's a private matter that you're asking them to not talk about. <clears throat> Moses is now being falsely accused of R. Of R. How do you know it's falsely accused? How do you know it's false? Listen, you pull in, you sounding like Nicki Minaj. You pull in a Nicki Minaj right now. You trying to stand by your man. I understand. It's to be expected. Of course, you're going to stand by your man. But girl, it's not a good look because you don't have no evidence. If you're going to tell other people that your man's innocent, you got to you got to have something. Just a, you just got a little something, a little something, something. I was M as a child. Okay. And the family had no idea. And now they are getting harassed because, wow. And now they are getting harassed because you guys are allowing the subreddit to post his name. Wow. Yo, again, y'all. We did not know this man's name until she said his name on the podcast and in her TikTok. And she... Her call to action was to Google his name. And now she's saying the family's getting harassed, not because she revealed his name, but because people are posting his name in the subreddit. Yo, this is bad. The, the, yo, I feel so sorry. <clears throat> Dan is in this chat as well. I'm sorry, Dan. I'm sorry, Ethan and Hila. I don't know why she she wiped out everybody else's name. Because to deal with something like this, it it just it is you hate it so much. Like <clears throat> I grew up with somebody like this. I've dealt with people like this in my life, at jobs, at school, and it's it's hellish to deal with somebody like this it's hellish it's only with education when you learn more about mental health and when you get life experience you can start spotting people you can start spotting up oh, now now it is so frustrating to deal with to have somebody like this that's in your family I guess this whole situation gets a rise out of me because I just know what it's like to have to deal with somebody like this in for real, for real life. <clears throat> I'm happy the frenemies was taken down. I was told inaccurate information as I often misspoke on situations that I just believed without researching. If you were told an accurate information and you repeat that information, you're not misspeak. I don't think she understands. She doesn't know what the word misspoke mean. 
Let me Google it. Hold up. I'm going to Google what does the word misspoke mean? Excuse me. Express oneself insufficiently, clearly, or accurately. So if to your knowledge, something is accurate and you regurgitate that, you're not misspeaking. You meant what you said. Okay, so now she's just blaming it on being told inaccurate information. Who told you the information? Who told you the information and why were you so sure about it that you told us all to Google it? Now you mad that we Googled it. <laughs> like, how are you going to be mad that we fact checked the information that you told us to Google? You're crazy. Who told you that incorrect information? Why aren't you yelling at them? Why aren't you mad at them? Why are you blaming Ethan and Hila? <clears throat> I had reported this um, as a teenager. There are reports of it. So she's claiming that this um, happened when she was a child. And then years later, as a teenager, she reported it. I don't know. Listen, maybe, maybe not. We can't find records of it. Something like this, I think, would be public record. I think. If you reported it, I think we would be able to find a police report, but nobody has been able to find any, not even a single police report on this dude. I don't know. Every single time you guys make jabs at me, the hate rolls up. <clears throat> they have Docs Moses' ex wives, they are tweeting to Morley's dance company that he is an R. I don't know what is more lace dance company. Is Moses a dancer? What is that? More lace dance company. I don't know what that is or where that is or what that has to do with Moses. If somebody knows, feel free to comment. <clears throat> All of this is stemming from the H3 subreddit. No, it's not. I didn't come from the H3 subreddit. A lot of us didn't come from there. And you continue mocking me. He doesn't mock you on the subreddit. I have ceased t taking about you. I will never got the rest of my life mention your name. Why? Because <laughs> you're doing it now. When you, when you post this, you finna do it. I have, and will ignore every, <laughs> every question. This is too much. The girl has, okay, this one, this part is going to get me. The girl has a lawyer to sue Moses of R-ing her. Even having to go to court will jeopardize his status in this country. Trick. Are you now... Saying this <clears throat> it's wrong for an essay victim to seek justice and take her a boozer to court. You're disgusting. You ask more of other people than what you're even willing to do as a normal human being. Absolutely disgusting. And at this point, if anybody is still a Trisha fan, you're. Do you not see what is happening? A victim is finally trying to get their just use because the abuser can now afford to pay just use. That's what that's what is see that's what appears to be happening to me. And yes, somebody asked, yes, this is Tatcha. It is expensive. I am trying to live a bougie life now. I have a whole life story that I don't even have time to get into. I, I want to be bougie. I paid for Tasha lip balm and it's really good. Okay. 
I know you checked the subreddit. I know you have control over these things. She thinks he has control over what people think and say. What she wants is for him to ban everybody. Like what's going on in her subreddit. When you don't talk about me, this stuff dies down. He hasn't talked about you. Is she talking about that um, <laughs> that stupid thing where she's talking and one of the one of H3's texts puts a dumb thing? Is that what she's talking about? I don't know. What do you want to stop this? I will pay you every cent. So she thinks he has control. Mind you, after this, Ethan did post a tweet um, saying, please do not harass anybody involved. Um, and I don't know what else she'll want. I think she wants him to wave a magic wand and make everybody stop caring. It's not funny anymore at all. It's very serious. We all agree it's very serious. We think you're the one not taking it seriously. Cops went to my mom's house. Mm -hmm. Ethan says, you need to make a statement on, Ms. on the Mr. Riley stuff. You do not get to... Watch this. Watch this. What do you want to stop this? I will put out whatever statement you want me to make. I just need this to stop. Then Ethan says, you need to make a statement on Mr. Riley stuff. So she says, I will make whatever statement you want me to make. He says, you need to make a statement on the Mr. Riley stuff. She said, you do not get to tell me what I need to talk about. This is what I'm saying. She's not capable. The capacity is not available at this time. It's, she is not logically available to anybody at this time. Thank you. She also said the police talking about went to her mom to ask her about her the stepdad. I mean her 20 years ago. Well, I guess that's kind of confirmation now. Because she never, I, I don't know if she ever outright said it, but now she's saying it. Um, do not need to tell me how to handle my essay. I mean, it's really, it's really stupid. She's trying to call him. He doesn't want to talk to her because he knows he's learned, he's learning the game. He's learning the game that people like Trish will try to manipulate things. She already tried to manipulate just his text message. So just imagine what she would do if it was a phone call that's not recorded. He wants everything that she has to say to him to be in writing so he can defend himself. As you should. As you should, Ethan. I'm pleading for you to stop. I need it to stop. I, it's like, what, what do you want him to do? It's like, it's like, you can't talk to somebody like this. You can't talk to somebody like this. Um, I think this person skipped a part. Yeah, they skipped a part. They kind of skipped a part. So there's a part where Elon's basically like, welcome to the family. You know, you're not the only victim here. Moses' mom has been crying. Like, we're all dealing with this BS. So just take accountability for yourself. And she's like, oh, I'm trying to. Ela says, a little too late. And Trisha takes that to mean, oh my gosh, you're saying that. I'm doing a little too late, so they're not going to stop the hate train like they have the ability to. Um, Ethan calls her out on not believing the essay victims accusing Moses. And she's like, but you know Moses. This is not just some random case. You know him. Like, like that makes a difference. Like, Trisha is like, believe all victims, except if you know the perpetrator, then don't believe the victims. Ethan's like, I thought I knew Moses. I don't know him anymore. Um, and yeah, Ela's like, you are, guess what? Like, just like you think 
you're getting hate, you're sending the victim hate and you're calling her a liar, calling her a stalker, calling her obsessed. She's like, stop. I fucking stopping everything. I just want to say, and I am pleading. I'm not telling you what to do. Okay, because Ela was also like, oh, we don't get to tell you what to do? Well, guess what? You don't also don't get to tell us what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm asking, please, please, please. And you would do if you actually cared about victims, you hypocrite. Shame on you. This is Ethan. Ethan is just so... <laughs> Ethan is just so, like, beside himself. Like, Ethan just doesn't know what to do. He's just like, you hypocrite. Shame on you. Shame on both of you. <laughs> I'm so trembling with anger and disgust, shame and sadness. I'm just imagining Ethan. I'm laughing because I can relate. I feel like trembling too. It's not even my damn family. What? Look, look, look at this. What? People lie. People do. This is not a random case. This is someone you know. Of course. Of course you are one to say that SA victims lie, Trisha. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting that people are questioning if you lied. And you admit here that SA victims lie. Quite interesting. Like of all rebuttals that you could have said. Of all rebuttals. That's just quite telling to me. Someone else out there that might be like, no, but sometimes people do lie. But she might be talking about herself. Subconsciously. <sighs> it just goes back and forth. I just love this part where Ethan's like, shame on you both at the bottom. Shame on you both. Shame. <laughs> That's what I imagine. Shame on you both. Shame. <laughs> so Trisha just continues tweeting basically what she said in the video. I'm just for this to all oh lord i forgot Eddie. that there was more video because if the situation escalates it gets worse than any it's made a bully he says <laughs> it it's too late but it's not too late for i'm saying it's not any of this and i went to them like pleading I don't get to decide anymore it's really absolutely I take fuck it's it was big i baptized this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing for me. <laughs> I'm just so pleading. I'm just so pleading. Stop. stop I, th this is when I saw the one tear. This is when I saw the one tear. <laughs> this is my real life. You see it? You oh, see it? This is real life. My mom. My Y'all see it? Hold on. They see it. There's, it's all the stuff. I can screenshot all of it. It's so, it's so fucking scary. Okay. So after that, she privated her Twitter and her Instagram. And then Ethan put out the statement. Let's see. He put out this statement about, please, for the sake of Hila and I, do not harass anyone involved. Okay. So this goes for the, fan, the Rhinies. Trisha, Moses, anyone on H3, like, stop harassing. <clears throat> and, yeah, people are saying this started from Mysterious T. Like, honestly, for me, this started because of Mysterious T's video. Um, it doesn't matter where it started from. All, all that matters is that we're now asking for accountability the same way Trisha expected accountability from many people I mean she didn't care when Charlie D'Amelio a minor is crying about the harassment Trisha sent her way 
she didn't care when Charlie D'Amelio asked her to just leave her alone. She Trisha actually made more videos about this minor. She she Trisha doesn't care about anybody but herself. And all we ask is, hey, we noticed that you lied. Can you clear that up? And a part, I just feel like we caught since she was caught in the lie. She can't reveal the truth because the truth is she lied. The truth is she may have known about it. Normally, Trisha gives some kind of BS response. You know what I mean? Like, just watch her stuff. Watch her, um, my chemical imbalance. Just watch any of these videos. Watch any of them. And you hear the BS. She gives BS explanations for everything. And this is the first time she she's not giving any explanation. It just makes me think that we hit the nail a little bit too hard on the net head. We 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 cornered her a little too we caught her in too big of a lie. It's embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. And for someone with BPD who lies chronically, this is a worst case scenario. This is a nightmare. Not and it's not even because police are showing up at, at her mom's house. It's not because Moses's job is being threatened or what. I don't even know what Moses. I didn't even know Moses had a job. I don't. <laughs> I don't even know what he does. Um. Moses doesn't have to work. Moses doesn't need to work. Who cares? The only thing she cares about is her sponsorships and. Her very, very delicate ego. Because remember what I said in other videos. Now, y'all, this video has been an hour and 30 minutes. So I don't blame you if you're not watching anymore or if you're tired, if you can't pay attention anymore. But I've said in other videos, when you have BPD, like Trisha Paytas, borderline personality disorder, you don't have a sense of identity. You don't have an ego. You don't have a sense of self. You and I, who are more neurotypical, we have a sense of self. We have an idea of who we are. What it means, what does it mean to be Udoka? Who is Udoka? What does Udoka stand for, believe in, like, dislike? What represents her? Who is she? I have an idea of that. If you ask Trisha that question, she cannot answer. Or she will have to mimic something for today. She will. I don't know. Maybe she likes Pamela Anderson. Then today she is like Pamela Anderson. I have a lot of hot takes about Trisha and her identities. I'm not going to get into it right now. But the main point is there is a black hole, a black void in her that she's constantly trying to fill. Not every person with BPD fills it with lies, but some of them do. And Trisha happens to be the type that does. And the scariest thing for somebody who has BPD, who lies, is to be outed. Because the, the construction of an ego that they made out of sand is falling apart. Now their black hole is bigger than before. That's very scary for them. I hope that... After this crisis, she gets help. She has a therapist, supposedly. I hope she talks to them. I believe she has support. Listen, she's a multi Let me reiterate. She's a multimillionaire. She can afford anything and everything that she needs. She has Moses. Some people believe Moses doesn't love her. I don't know. He seems to have been supportive so far, regardless of if he's cheating or what have you. He seems to have been supportive so far. She seems to get support from her mom, from her sister. She has a therapist, supposedly. And she has money for a therapist. She has money to book an emergency meeting, okay, with her therapist. I'm not, like, you're not going to have me out here concerned. <laughs> but what I'm curious to see is if 
we're going to see more histrionics from her or if she will come out of the psychosis or this manic phase right now, come to her senses, calm down, and give some kind of rational statement. I don't know which way she'll go. I do, people are saying Trisha is over. I don't think she's over. There are people in this world who will always have fans. Onision still has fans who pay his bills. Gabby Hanna still has fans who pay her bills. It doesn't matter how problematic you are. If you have a big enough audience, you will still have people who love you and will support you no matter what. So her career is not over. What I think she might do, and this is what I would recommend, because this is, this is what I recommended for Gabby Hanna, and she started taking the advice. I recommend... Does she get off YouTube and just go to where she's wanted? Post on your OnlyFans, post on your Patreon, post on your members only. Your behavior is not acceptable behavior. People in pub in the public mass don't accept it. We don't tolerate it. So make content for the people who not only tolerate it, but they love it so much they pay you 20 bucks a month for it or however much your OnlyFans is. That's my recommendation. It seems to work well for Onision and Gabby Hanna. Um, it might work for Trisha. Um, also, um, this whole thing, I will admit, it's entertaining. Um, however, keep in mind that this is a this is like a real person. <laughs> like, I know we're all kind of rubbernecking, which is a term for when like there's a wreck on the highway. It's really none of your business. Just keep driving. But you just can't help but watch the train wreck. You know what I mean? We're all kind of doing that right now. But the reason why I really like dissecting this stuff and going through this stuff is because this is not this is not like a cartoon or this is not real Housewives of Atlanta reality TV show that's that's scripted. This is a real human being. This is a real response, in my opinion. Now, it could completely be fake. It could be fake. And I don't blame you if you believe this is all fake. Um, I kind of think some of it, I do think some of it is a show. Which is especially why I don't feel bad. Like, I don't, if you're trying to comment, trying to shame me for posting this, Moses seems to be under the impression himself that this is completely entirely a show. But that aside, you have come across somebody like this in your real life, or you're dealing with somebody like this in your real life, or you will come across somebody like this. Statistically, you will if you haven't already. And let me tell you, when I first encountered somebody like this in real life, I was a child. I did not know what to do. And if you don't know what to do against people who are like this, you will become a victim. You will, they will victimize you. They will hurt you. They will A, lose you. It is so important for people to see something like this and conceptualize it in a way that can be useful in their real life. Because it is not fun. Ethan and Hila have learned today. I don't know if Ethan and Hila have dealt with somebody like this ever before. The, the way they were behaving in the beginning when they first met Trisha, the way they behaved, it came across as if they, ha they were not experienced with somebody like this. And they learned to, and they have learned. I'm really proud of Ethan. The way he stated his public statements couldn't have done it better. 
the way he handled Trisha in the text messages, not accepting her phone call. It, that's exact. That's exactly what you have to do. Like, especially when you're dealing with somebody who's in that moment. But there's a lot of people who wouldn't know what to do and they will end up being taken advantage of. So this is a dissection that can be entertainment for some, but also please take it as a learning experience. If you like this video, like it. This is kind of a test run. I really hope that this OBS thing works. Um, if you like me, then subscribe. I mean, I don't post stuff like this all the time. I'm usually just talking about literally whatever I want. Um, so I really would only subscribe if you dig me. And um, I, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, especially if you stay to the end because you're like super invested. Um, and let me know if, if there's other people talking about this issue or if there's new updates. I'd love to hear it. Thank you. Thank you for spending your Sunday evening with me. I need to go to bed. I need to go to bed because I have work tomorrow. So until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.